it's Lee from ColoringQueen.net and today I want to show you my new Polish pencils. The great thing about these is that they are all pastel colours. Now they're not artist grade pencils, they're just student grade, but they are really nice colours on them. Now I'll show you how they compare up against a Prismacolor and a Polychromo. You can see that they've got an end cap on them. They don't have a name or a number, which is annoying. And the only set size they come in are a 50 set with no open stock that I know of. Now, because it's got the end cap, you can't really see if they've been scented well or not, but they color really well and I have no problems sharpening them. And they feel really good quality. So, I'm pretty sure that they're scented quite well because I've been actually colouring with mine as you can see from the picture of the box there on screen you can see my blue is getting a bit short <laughs> and I haven't had any problems so to sharpen them I'm just using my m &R pencil sharpener now the thing I've noticed when using them and I've been colouring in my Lady Spring book is that there isn't any pencil dust or wax blue which is good. Now they do go down pretty creamy as well but when I first got them they felt very scratchy and I had to give them a turn in the pencil sharpener to get rid of any residue or whatnot that was on them. They do come pre-sharpened and they come in that sturdy cardboard box. So let's try them out on some tanned paper and I do have a swatch here that I'll show you at the end of the video so you can see all of the colours. And if you want to see the extended video where I test them out in colouring books, then uh, the link for that is below. The link where I purchased them from is also below the video and it is the first link. Now bear in mind that these pencils are from Poland and I can't find any distributors in Australia so it may cost more than they're worth to post to Australia. As you can see, they went well on the toned paper, so let's test them out in the black paper, which is my Spectrum Noir Qualorista Colorista pad. I use this for all my testing. Now, these are pastel colors, so they're not going to be as vibrant as the other colors that I've tested on here. And as far as I know, the Astra Pastelo brand doesn't have any primary colours but they do have a range of products where they have watercolours, crayons and other brands of pencils both cheaper than these and more expensive in tins that might have primary colours that would go with this. One thing about the set of 50 is that there's no white so I've been using either a Prismacolor white or a Caran d'Ache luminance white which goes well with them and tints it and goes on very smooth. Now they are pastels so they're not going to be as vibrant but they do show up really well on that black paper. Now I've been colouring the bookmark from my Lady Spring colouring book that was just uh, as a little gift in there and I wanted to see what water would be like on there and what it does is it softens the strokes but it doesn't move the pigment so to erase with these pencils is something that I've noticed that no matter what I seem to throw at it it erases beautifully and takes the pigment right off right back to blank even with a manual eraser like my little Tombow Mono. It's not as good, I have to put as more pressure on it. My Derwent electric eraser is far better, but I'm surprised at how much pigment will come off because usually with my other pencils, there's often pigment still remaining. Now here's the color chart that I did because they don't have any numbers I've just uh, given them 1 to 50 and I'll think of some fancy name later. But you can see that there's a nice range of pinks, skin tones, nice range of greens and a few yellows and oranges. There's a couple that I think are sort of a bit darker than pastel but 
I guess they're useful overall. And there's 50 lovely colours there. I'm just using my Caran d'Ache blender on this. This is a really toothy paper. It's the Art and Wash paper that's got a real tooth to it. And I wanted to see how easy it would be to blend out any of the stroke marks using my Caran d'Ache blender. And it's easy peasy. So that's it for the swatch. If you want to see the extended review, please check out the link below. There's no light fast ratings on these pencils because they're student grade. And I'll just give you some pros and cons with them. They're cheap, so that's a pro. But depending on where you live, they might actually cost more to get them posted to you. There is no white pencil or black pencil or other colours, so you'll need another set of pencils uh, as well to complement these if you like. They're nice and creamy, but initially I did have problems with having something on the sharpener. They layer and blend really well, and the more you put down, the better they are from my experience so far. There's no open stock, so if you need to replace a pencil, you'll need to buy a whole packet of 50. And depending on where you are in the world, that might cost you a bit to get it posted to you. Now, they don't tell you anything about uh, what they're made of or anything, but to me, they feel like that they are wax-based, but I could be definitely wrong. But if you're after some budget pastel coloured pencils and it's not going to cost you too much to post to your area then these are very good value even though they're just student grade. So that's it from me until next time stay safe and happy colouring.